Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be focusing on one of the fundamental steps of photography, which is the exposure triangle, but more so we're gonna be focusing on shutter speed and how that affects your picture when you're out doing photography. If you wanna be a great photographer, then you're definitely gonna to need to understand the exposure triangle and how to master it in order to get the desired results for your photography. Come on in. The exposure triangle is the foundation of photography. It consists of three key components, ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. Together, they control the exposure of your photo, determining on how light or dark your image will be. So let's break down each component, starting with shutter speed. Shutter speed refers to the amount of time the camera shutter is open to let light hit the sensor. It is measured in fractions of a second, like one over 1000 or one over 30, and even in whole seconds for longer exposure. A fast shutter speed like one over 1000 freezes motion. So if you have a sports activity going on and you wanna capture the moment as it's happening, then you're gonna to need to dial up your shutter speed in order to stop motion as it's happening. And if you have a shutter speed like 1 over 130, then you're gonna create a slow motion or blur effect that has this very own artistic feeling depending on what type of photography that you're doing. For example, if you're shooting a fast moving subject and need a fast shutter speed, you might need to open your aperture to let in more light or increase your ISO to maintain the right exposure. These three components, ISO, aperture, and shutter speed must work in harmony in order to create a great exposed photo. Understanding these settings in harmony will give you the best creative control over your photos and the type of photography that you create and will lead to you having a stronger understanding of different outside sources such as light and change in natural environments. So next time you're out with your camera, make sure that you experiment with different types of shutter speeds so you can understand how they affect the image that you create coming out of your camera. And that would give you the best representation of what the shutter speed does to the type of uh, subjects that you have for your photography. Well, guys and girls, that's the end of the video. I hope that this helps you better understand shutter speed and the exposure triangle. I want to give a special shout out to Ms. Royal Payne Williams for inspiring this video to have me come on and explain shutter speed and the exposure triangle. I do hope that this answered your question and I hope that this helps whoever the video finds. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I wanna thank you all for checking out the video and I hope that you have a great day. Peace.